Number 58. A double zero gauge copper wire has a diameter of 9.266 millimeters. Calculate the power loss in a kilometer of such wire when it carries 1 times 10 to the 2 amps. So it says to calculate the power loss, right? So it wants to find the power lost when it's carrying 1 times 10 to the 2 amps. So what we can do is simply this. We can now take the power and realize that that is equal to the current that's flowing through it multiplied by the resistance. So I, they gave us a current that's flowing through this particular wire, right? So I know that this is going to be basically power is equal to, and one times 10 to the two is a hundred, right? So there's essentially a hundred squared multiplied by R. All right. So in other words, right, this is going to be equal to power multiplied by 10,000. Excuse me, uh, power is equal to 10,000 multiplied now by the resistance. So what I need to do in order to figure out the power loss is i got to figure out, well, how much resistance was there? Right? How much resistance was there? If there is no resistance, if resistance is zero, what's then the power lost? Well, it's zero. Well, that should kind of make sense, right? There would be, if there was no resistance, is there any power lost, right, in this, in this, uh, for this current? Well, no. There's no power lost. There's no resistance, right? So what we need to do here is we got to figure out how much resistance there is, okay, in the wire. Now, in order to do that, they gave us a diameter. As soon as I, um, I mean, almost exclusively, as soon as I'm given a diameter and I'm thinking about resistance, I jump right to the formula over here on the right-hand side. I jump to the formula that resistance will equal the resistivity of the material that the wire is made out of multiplied by the length of that particular material divided by then the cross-sectional area of that particular material or the particular wire. So we need to know the resistivity of copper, which we do. We just looked that up. Right, that's going to be 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8. The length, they told us a kilometer, but you know we don't need that in kilometers. We need that in meters, so that's a thousand meters. So plug in that, okay? Then divided by the area. Now the area, it's a cross-section of a wire. The, the cross-section of a wire is circular. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, they didn't tell me diameter. Uh, excuse me, they didn't tell me radius, but they told me diameter. But we know the relation between diameter and radius, right? What we simply can do then is, why don't I just, I think it's easier. Let's just divide this by 2. All right? So we get 9.22, 9.22, uh, excuse me, 9.266 divided by 2. So I get about 4.633. Now remember... That's 4.633 millimeters. That's equal to the radius. But we don't need that in millimeters. We need that in meters. Okay? So just simply multiply that by 1,000. All right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack it on in the formula. You'll see. So then divide that now by pi. Multiply by our radius. So this is 4.633 times 10 to the minus did I say multiply that by 1,000? I don't remember. I meant to say divide that. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I can't remember the past 10 seconds. So um, if this is millimeters and we need that in meters, you're going to be dividing that by 1,000. I don't know if I said that correctly, but I'm saying it correctly now. So 1.72 times 10 to the negative 8, multiply them by 1,000. Then divide that now by, in parentheses, plug in your pi. Multiply that now by 4.633 times 10 to the minus 3. Square that. And here we go. So the resistance here in the wire is going to be 0.255. Right? Ohms. That's the resistance. So whatever this resistance is will result in the power being lost via this formula right here. Boom. Just plug it on in. So power will then be equal to 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.255. So this now becomes... Uh, 2,550 watts. Okay, that's how much power would be lost now. And, um, yeah, that takes care of that. So hopefully that makes sense. All right. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. And, um, yeah. Sure. All right. Thanks. Be well.